Uh, does this send a message that the populist wave that brought us uh, President Donald Trump is over in Europe? No, not at all. I mean, look, in the first round of this election, 46.5% of people voted for parties that were fiercely Eurosceptic. In this round, it was more like 35%. Uh, what that says is that Marine Le Pen, with the Front National brand, was not able to bring together people from the left and right of politics under her banner. Um, and I think what will happen here is, and I hope, because I spoke to her campaign team last night, uh, I've been talking to her for the last five years, the Front National needs to get rid of the baggage of the past, of the shadow of her father. And when she does that, she'll be in a stronger position. And secondly, fascinatingly, 80% of the over 65s voted for Macron. So generationally, it's the older people that are sticking to the old European model and the younger people that are rejecting it. And I would say this to you, that she got 35% this time. In 2022, I believe she'll win. Hmm, that is a bold prediction. Uh, we will have you uh, stick around five years, come back, we'll revisit it and see what happens because a lot of people are <laughs> saying uh, that what happens in France in the next five years uh, will continue to break the, the country apart in, in ways that are, um, you know, possibly irreversible with the economy, with the terror threats. Uh, and they say that this endorsement of Macron over Le Pen said that people uh, are thinking beyond those things, that they don't like the divisive rhetoric, uh, that she was cozy with Trump, even though he didn't formally endorse her. Um, and they're, you know, saying uh, stateside that it was a rebuke to him and to the kinds of forces that lifted him into office. Well, look, you know, I think, as I say, the Front National has been a very divisive force in French politics, and much as she's a more attractive figure than her father, uh, clearly not enough to bring all the Eurosceptics that want change together in that election yesterday. But what Macron represents, I mean, look, you know, he walked up to his victory speech to the anthem of the European Union. Imagine that. You become president of your country and you march up to the theme of a foreign nation. And guess where Macron's going this afternoon? He's catching a plane to meet his new boss in Berlin. And in the end, what the French are going to see is five more years of failure five more years of being stuck in the wrong currency and five more years of increasing terrorist attacks. The French may not have gone for Frexit yesterday the way the Brits did last year in our referendum, uh, but I believe genuinely, sincerely, it is only a matter of time.